Food trucks, they're all over New York City. Most, oh, we most always of our talk about them. Love food trucks. Mm -hmm. There's a food truck for dogs now that's doing quite well in Chicago. It's becoming a bit of a trend. Gourmet exotic <laughs> food truck. Uh, Fido to go, it's called. Donna Santucci of Chicago opened this up. She has 40 applicants right now who want to license the brand. She wow. makes cookies and frozen yogurt cups that she sells <laughs> in her commercial kitchen in downtown Chicago. And uh, she has to explain to a lot of people that who want to buy frozen yogurt for themselves <laughs> that it's not sweetened you. and I got a hunch you You're might not, not like it. it. Leave it for your dog. But there you go. Oh, Pretty cool, yeah. right? So I know it's go ridiculous, but nothing. Fido, uh, it pleased treat. me so much to see my dog uh, eating oh, something that's that he loves. So cool. Okay, so now we're going to Boulder, where there has been a kidnapping. A stuffed bear was kidnapped from outside yes. of a store, yes, taken yes, yes, to yes, a nearby campsite. There he is. He was taken to a nearby campsite. He was then gifted to another set of campers. Well, police on the hunt for this guy checked out Craigslist and found that somebody had posted him on Craigslist. They contacted the guys. They went out and contacted and uh, reached out to them, and they got the bear back. The winner here, though, is the official police report, which says yeah, funny. the bear does not appear to have been injured, <laughs> although he's missing his, vest, his fishing vest vest when police found him. The bear has not shared any information about what happened to him during the incident, so details are not available. They also said that when they found the bear, he was in a Jeep and he was being held against his will. Hats <laughs> off to the um, police officer who wrote the press release for having a sense a of humor. A sense of right? humor. It doesn't look like any charges are being filed yet. Yeah.